We are exactly three weeks out from the election night for the runoff. December 3rd, Boise Mayor Dave Beter and City Council President Lauren McLean will have a runoff for Boise's mayor. Today, the two went head to head in a public forum. Our Joe Paris was there as the candidates took on the issues and took off the gloves. He joins us now with a breakdown. Joe. Mark, this is the first time since the runoff was announced that Beter and McLean got to go back and forth like this on the big issues. And with the large field of candidates now gone, the two had a chance to really engage on the issues that mean most to voters. A major conversation after election night in Boise was about the passing of the stadium and library propositions. Dave Beter and Lauren McLean were asked during the City Club Forum if they interpreted the votes on Prop 1 and 2 as criticism. McLean says that she interpreted the vote as a clear statement that the public wants to be involved. That it's on us as mayor to lead a conversation about these larger ticket items, to speak to the value of library in this case, and then to get it done in a way that the community celebrates it. And with a vote, you can get there. Beter says meanwhile that he thinks the vote is not a vote on spending projects, and if it is, it's the city council that has control over the budget. It's important to get it right, and the, and the project as proposed is not gonna go on the ballot. We understand that, but you can't have it always. You can't be for things until it's hard. Uh, that's what this job is about, is making tough decisions. The growth of Boise was a focal point of the forum and a major point, infrastructure and mass transit. So what does the Treasure Valley need? McLean says a change and someone with new energy. While Beter, meanwhile, argued that McLean hasn't taken enough interest in it as a member of city council and that he has worked hard to keep up with growth. A leader that doesn't look at this work as a slog, but instead an opportunity to create new partnerships, to bring urgency to the table and recognize that our community depends on it because what's been going on for the last 16 years hasn't worked to get us where we need to be. Bill, urgency is nine years of not attending. You can be the person that the council sends to Valley Regional Transit meetings. And Elaine Clegg is always that person. She's never gone. She's never cared. Urgency is doing it every month for all those years. How about term limits? Dave Beter, for example, has served as mayor for 16 years. Would McLean want to do the same? I've said all along that I thought it was really important to impose or commit to a personal limit, and that would be no more than three terms because we have to have a sense of urgency daily to tackle the challenges of this city. Beter, meanwhile, disagrees. People didn't want to work for the city of Boise. Now it's where you want to be. I want to take a great city and make it even better. Uh, I don't believe in them. Uh, and it's interesting that people are born again now uh, that they want to run for something else. All right, the stadium project turned out to be a contentious issue, and McLean said she believes Beter wanted to make that his legacy project. How did he react to that? Well, he immediately said that his legacy is his daughter and that that is what he's very proud of and that having his name on a building or a project is not what he wants his legacy to be. He says his legacy is his daughter, and he left it at that. And uh, The pair went back and forth, but it was an interesting point. It really seemed to touch a nerve for Mayor Beter. You know, prior to this, McLean didn't seem to want to engage. She didn't want to go count point, counterpoint point with uh, the mayor. It appears that she's changed that strategy, but maybe not. Uh, today's debate is currently the only known debate between the two candidates before voters head to the poll. After the debate, Mayor Beter released a statement that said in part, he was excited to continue the debate with McLean next week during televised debates with KTVB and KBOI. However, no debate for KTVB has ever been set. We've tried a number of times since the election to secure a date for a runoff debate or forum, whatever format that would be, that would meet both candidates' schedules. The mayor's campaign telling us they'd be available either the 18th or 19th of November. McLean's campaign said that week wouldn't work. Since then, we've made numerous attempts to figure out how we could fit this into the schedule. But moments ago, Lauren McLean released a statement mm -hmm. saying that she, and I'll read this to you, it reads in part, my campaign is rooted in listening, not drama. She went on to say no. I am not going to continue to debate Mayor Beter, though he's pushing hard 
for additional opportunities to fight. I know where he stands. We've covered the same ground time and time again. So it appears what we saw today was the last thing we'll see between these two candidates on the same stage before the runoff election. And Mark, in terms of doing our job as journalists, uh, journalists and not being you know, too much of inside baseball, here's what we need to explain. This debate that the Beater campaign acknowledged earlier, and we showed you in that statement, that was never solidified. That was something we wanted to do, we were hoping to work out, but he kind of scooped us on an announcement that we weren't ready to make because, as we mentioned, the McLean campaign had never committed to that. And I actually spoke with her team a short time ago, about five minutes ago, mm -hmm. um, and they explained to us exactly their thought process, uh, McLean has done a lot of these forums and debates at this point. I think she said she'd done about seven or eight of them. Mm -hmm. They say what's going to be said has already been said. The McLean campaign tells me that they want to go door to door. They want to be out in the community. And also Lauren McLean still has a job to do as city council president. So that was their explanation as to why they didn't want to be a part of a debate here on KTVB right. or anywhere else. Anywhere. There's been a lot of them already. What's really out there is out there. The candidates have said what they have to say. Right. And so McLean says she's happy with the work she's done and she's ready to be out in the community and engage. Bottom line, the mayor says he would go another round. She says, nope, we've said all all I can say. Yeah, and, and one item that I saw that you, you highlighted here in this release she put out while we were just actually talking during the last story. Uh, again, she says that uh, she's not going to continue to continue to debate Mayor Beater, though he's pushing hard for additional opportunities. Another point she has is that people are seeking out fireworks. What we know is that all the information is out there for our voters. It's available on KTVB.com as well as the KTVB app. We have all these stories leading right. up to Election Day. So Lauren McLean declining this debate. Some people are already saying she's running. She's not running. There's been a ton of debates. And I can also tell you that we have today's entire forum available online at KTVB.com. It is an interesting view for sure. Joe, thanks. All right.